But we're talking now about Lockheed Martin. It's yes. a global aerospace, defense, security, and advanced technologies company. So this one really is right front and center. 78% of its revenues and profits come from defense contracting. It is one of the most storied aircraft manufacturers in the US and is the main manufacturer of the F-35 strike jet, which is like the big one that is currently at the cornerstone of the U.S. military, the U.S. Navy yeah, fighter jets. Market cap, 75.1 billion U.S. dollars. P.E. ratio, 19.6. Dividend yield here of 2.8%. So... Look, they've also gone through a bit of a restructuring. They had a massive uh, sort of IT-related business that serviced the government. They've sold that off now. And, of course, they bought the helicopters in. But so now they are virtually... Uh, Marine One, yeah, Sikorsky. Yeah, yeah they <laughs> are 100% virtually reliant on U.S. government expenditure. Now, the U.S. government, you know, the, the expenditure doesn't double in half the next year. Mm. You know, but they try to be progressive in their payments. It is going up. Understand 25 of their business, 25% of their business is one aeroplane, which is the one Paul was talking about. Mm. And they had to drop the price by 10% because Trump went to go and visit them and said... Hey, why are you charging us 80 million for the Army version, but 120 million for the Navy and the Marine version of this Joint Strike Fighter? Knock the prices down, and they did, and they said we must celebrate this, and it's good for the company. You know, spin is just too wonderful for words, but the government is going to spend more, well, and they again, are one of the Well, again, you alluded to earlier the, the tough balancing act that Trump has to mm, to yes. uh, basically execute Correct. now, because on one hand, increasing government expenditure but he says he's going to cut taxes yeah, but this, this was one of his one of his tweets before he became president why are we paying so much for the same airplane with a different badge on it mm. you know and then they tried to explain no but this one's much stronger than oh my goodness <laughs> this badge has got yeah. gold it's yeah, gold it doesn't plated. matter but share price but let's they, have a look they, at the share they price actually, graph here they actually buckled oh right, they buckled but, but the share option. price graph yeah. hold, held steady yeah. So cool. when they won that contract to be the lead uh, supplier of the joint strike fighter, because those things are done by way of a kind of competitive tender, that obviously played well for them. But, I mean, they have a whole lot of other things going on. Do you know, for example, that they are the main manufacturer of the Trident missile systems, which is the big, fat ICBM, intercontinental Missile. ballistic missiles, that either get launched from submarines or from silos. These are the ones you've got to hope that nobody ever needs to use. But those things cost $70 million a pop. Most of them are put into the silo and tested every now and then to make sure that the oil filter is looking good. But they get replaced all the time. So you can imagine contracts like that, as Wayne says, that's not going away anytime soon. This is core to the U.S.'s perception of itself as the world's Remind policeman. Remind me, the P.E. on this one, we've 18, just 19, given it, yeah. was 18.19 as well. Yeah, yeah 20.6 is what okay. I so wrote down. So there, the, there we go, 19.6. Uh, dividend yield here, 2.8%. You know what so I like about this company as well is it's got a woman CEO. Yes. Which hmm. is unusual. Good. You're in <laughs> for, for gender <laughs> equality. Gender equality, yeah. I wouldn't have thought this was the kind of company that would have somebody like that. I don't know what her background is. Her yeah, name I is think Marilyn. just stop there. Yeah, stop there. You're putting I, your foot I, in it. You, 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 you just went, put your, yeah. you went up probably, your uh, going down. Uh, yours. Exactly. She's probably a five-star U.S. general that was in the Pentagon before and the CIA now working at this you know, interchangeable Good That's good. Yeah, it's a very small community, they say, Pentagon and the defense supplies. It's a very small This community. company's headquarters are in Bethesda, Maryland, which is like, you know, adjacent to Andrews Air Force Base, where all of the big decisions about mm. such matters Hot or not? Oh, God. The one to two year outlook cannot be negative for these pure virtually pure defense So we're going to con continue that uh, upward trajectory on so, yeah. the, the share price yeah. graph that we've I seen I suspect before. so. And you know, the F-35 thing about the price and all that, you know, there are two and a half thousand of those yeah, on order. And all that will happen something. is that they'll say, okay, this is going to be cheaper, but then it'll get I'll more expensive spread it at somewhere the end. Else because they're only delivering 50, 60 a year. I mean, this mm. is a multi, multi-billion multi-year, decades-long program. I don't know how much each of them cost. You said they cost Under about $100 million, million, million dollars each. So million I'm getting the, the sense that you're both very hot on the stock. <laughs> Are you very hot on the Look, stock? I don't know how I feel about being involved in investing in these kinds of companies, but I think the share price is going higher, so yeah. it's got to be hot.